hey guys welcome to my channel welcome to my first ever video i have been wanting to post for like a long time but i just didn't know what to post but i've taken this advantage since i'm traveling back home to like um vlog my journey so basically i'm traveling from spain to zambia and i'm going to take you guys throughout my whole journey and i think this is going to be interesting because of whole, um the whole pandemic and the whole thing happening around the world so i think traveling is going to be a little bit different than usual so yeah we're gonna see i don't really know what to expect especially the airport even when i get home but i'm just going to be updating you on everything that i'm going to be doing before we go any further make, make sure to subscribe turn on your post notifications click that like button and please share this video um yeah that's basically it so i'm going to be telling you guys whatever that i'm going to be doing so right now i'm actually waiting for my taxi it's like five it's like around five in the morning and um, my flight is at nine so i'm waiting for my taxi and yeah Um, hey guys, so right now I'm at, um, I don't know how to pronounce it, it's an airport in Amsterdam, I'm gonna put the name below because I'm probably gonna say the wrong thing, I, I came from Barcelona, now I'm in Amsterdam, and then from Amsterdam I'm going to Nairobi, and then from Nairobi I'm going to Lusaka, and then from Lusaka, oh, wow, I've got a long journey, from Lusaka I'm going to Sowezi, that's my final destination. So yeah, the airport is not as empty as I thought, like people are still traveling, which is shocking because like we are literally in a pandemic, like why are people traveling? But let me show you guys um, where I am right now. I'm about to board for my next flight, but yeah, there isn't really much on it. <laughs> guys so a quick little update i didn't manage to go i was supposed to board a flight for one o'clock but right now it's around 2 p.m i didn't manage to go because they said that my results were they were supposed to be like at least four days and mine was five days so they said you know the the law in nairobi doesn't allow people that have like results that are that long like it's supposed to be tested as recently as possible so right now i'm at the airport i'm planning on booking a hotel and getting a test tomorrow so i'm probably going to spend two nights in amsterdam and then i'm going to continue with my journey which is just like something that i didn't expect when they told me that my my flight was being cancelled it was just like what's going on but you know guys at the beginning of the video i said the experience is going to be different because of the whole pandemic happening and guess what it's definitely different so i'm going to be giving you guys updates on what's going on but for now this is what's happening <music> As you know, I think the last clip that I showed, I was telling you guys that I missed my flight because my COVID results were overdue. And now I had to get tested again and everything and it took like two days. So I had to like book a hotel and everything, but I was too stressed to even like 
and do anything about it, you know, like to record it, film it, whatever you call it. So it didn't happen. I might in the future do a story time of what really went down because it was a lot. Like I was literally crying for after every two hours. That's that's it. Because I was literally crying like almost up every two hours. <laughs> But right now, um, everything went well. I'm having McDonald's and I'm about to go and board my flight. I got a Mac chicken menu. So that's basically it.